All right, gang, Bison here, sitting with my beautiful bride, Mrs. Bison. Hi, guys. We're uh, just hanging out on the uh, front porch of our home after a wonderful dinner. And I just wanted to have a quick little story time to cover a uh, couple little things. Um, first thing I want to talk about is when we first moved in our home close to a year ago, um, as everybody knows, I'm a big Victorinox nut, and uh, one of the signs that I had that, you know, the purchase of the home and everything else was the right choice, and I'll show you this in a second with a little story that goes with it. I had the, uh, the cable guy in the backyard doing some work, and he hands me this. <laughs> and he says, uh, hey mister, did you drop something? And I said, what are you talking about? And the uh, Xfinity guy handed me this watch. And what are the odds of me being the Victorinox Swiss Army nut handed a Victorinox Swiss Army watch, which I think dates back to the 90s. I researched this model when they first came out with Swiss Army brand. So that was very, very exciting. The bad story about this watch is, it does have an happy ending, was probably about six months after me uh, wearing it every day, it stopped working. The uh, I think he called it the crown, pulled directly out. So my wife and I were down at the Victorinox store in Rock Center many months ago, so they mailed it out to be fixed. And about two months later, I get a note back about this watch saying, due to its vintage manner, um, it cannot be fixed. Bummer. So my amazing father-in-law and wife suggested bring it to the local watch guy and like, I don't know, $26 later or something, ordered the exact, exact part from Switzerland that's been a standard piece since the late 70s, early 80s, and I got the watch working again. So I'm grateful, disappointed to Victorinox, but that's okay. They want to sell their other items, but... They did send me a nice coupon for 30% off my next watch purchase. And, you know, guys and girls out there, you know, if you buy these watches, they're very expensive and 30% is a help. But, you know, if you want some of the super high-end ones, like my wife bought me for our wedding gift, it's not going to make too big of a dent. But it's a hope at the end of the day. Does the coupon expire? It doesn't say it expires. We're going to try that next time we go uh, visiting their stores. Second little story we have here, as an Easter gift, Mrs. Bison had got me the, I keep on wanting to say rose gold, but it's the champagne gold Alox model. <laughs> wow, we're going all the way back to yeah. Easter, huh? <laughs> and if we look at this box that's beat up that I taped, we'll open it up and show everyone the knife. Quick little fun story. Uh, be careful, there's a spider over there. Here's a look at the knife. The <laughs> spider, I'll get him with this knife. I got two of them, so I will dispatch the spider you mainly with this, and then we'll just chuck it, because I do have two of them, and I'll explain why. Oh, you're so my wife, that yeah. <laughs> my wife ordered this for me, and it was supposed to come as a surprise as an Easter gift, and FedEx says they delivered it, and it was left in front of the driveway. And it was not there, so she suggested that I go visit some of the neighbors that uh, one out of the two I did not meet yet. So I went next door to inquire on this, and they have one of those amazing ring cameras. <laughs> Rang the bell, nothing happened, and uh, so I left. A couple days later... I got an email from a close friend in a different town not too far away seeing me on this ring camera. And if I still had the photo, I'd insert it, but it's it's lost. I do. Oh, uh, you do, hon? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so the ring camera had a picture of me pacing, looking around, and it says, suspicious person in your area. Be on the lookout. Notify police. Great. So now I'm a suspicious person in my own neighborhood. So fast forward a couple days, my wife... Do you want me to take over from here? Go ahead. Okay, so I went to visit the said neighbor, 
and explain to them that we're their neighbors. You put us on the ring uh, application and uh, now my husband is considered a suspicious person. They went on to tell us that they did not know us and I re responded that my husband waved to them a couple hours before he rang the doorbell, the doorbell and they waved back. To make a story, a long story short, uh, they apologized. Later that evening, Mr. Bison was removed <laughs> from the ring application. Uh, but yet, we still have not, you know, we had not at that point found our package. Go ahead, Bison. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm outside working on my uh, mulch and planting beautiful flowers and whatnot for my bride. A neighbor pulls up, honk, honk. His son runs up the driveway, hands me a beat up box. Now, if I still have the actual picture of the packaging I took, uh, I'll insert it here. Oh, I'm light kicked on. <laughs> it was it was open, crushed, soaked, and resealed with electrical tape. So now I've learned, we've learned that our neighbor is slightly shady. Did have it dumped it somewhere else outside the mailbox of someone on the opposite side of where we lived, and thank God as nice people, uh, they returned it. So I got the original that my wife ordered me, and then I got uh, a second one. Yay, so I got two of them now. You really should watch that spider. Both equally special, I know he's eyeballing me. I know, he's coming after you. I'm gonna get him after this. So that's uh, story time part one. I'm gonna stop here, and then we're gonna go to story time part two. I would prefer if you got the spider first. Okay, I'm going to uh, dispatch this spider quickly and humanely, Bear grill style. I will not eat it because I just ate a big dinner, so I'm full. Oh, gross. But uh, <laughs> I'm going to handle that, and I'll be back with part two. Bison and Mrs. Bison out.